guys it's so sunny good morning guys welcome back to my channel it's like eight o'clock in the morning and I just finished a leg workout my friend Kelsey from up the coast stayed over my house last night and we had to do a really early morning gym session because she had to go to work I had an okay session but I went fasted so meaning I didn't eat and I wasn't hungry and I'm not hungry now at all but I was so lightheaded the whole time because I had like no sugar in my body you know that feeling where you just know you need sugar and your body needs energy that's what I kept feeling the whole time and I kept feeling like I was going to faint even though I ate so much food last night my body really needed food this morning but I just had to stop because I was just getting really lightheaded and I was like I need a banana and normally I do have a banana before I work out but I didn't have any fruit at my house so I need to go fruit shopping today but now at Cronulla and I think I'm gonna grab some breakfast and normally I'm a baby and an eggs kind of girl but I think because I'm so like lethargic I'm feeling like something sweet can I please have the super green bowl will add protein please with gluten-free muesli coconut or honey or and honey both yeah oh yeah so I got the green super bowl a couple of weeks ago I treated myself to get my nails done for my birthday and I like having nice nails like I feel so feminine and they're so grown out so I think I'm gonna go get them redone while I'm out in this area and I'll change the color. I love this color, but you can't double up. You gotta get a new color. I'm thinking blue or a blush pink, I don't really know. We'll see what comes to me when I have to decide. Love it, got my nails done, just got like a nice pink color. And now I am going up to get some fruit. Yes. Seriously, my life. I could live off bananas. Resist temptation, Sarah. Resist temptation. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. The antioxidant mix. <gasps> yes. No, stop, stop. Walk away from the fruit and nuts, Sarah. Walk away from the fruit and nuts. Goes to buy bananas. Neck minute. So I'll give you a little bit of a grocery haul of what I bought. And I bought some different stuff this time. I'm trying to broaden my horizons. So fruit wise, I basically always have the same fruit and that is berries, green apples, and bananas. Bananas, I'm obsessed with. Yes, bananas are really high in sugar, but again, natural sugars and they're the best, like bananas are my favorite and they are something that I crave and if I don't have a banana, like nothing will satisfy that craving. So I always have bananas on hand. So I just got a big bunch of bananas and make sure they're ripe before you ingest them because when you have unripe bananas, well for me personally, I get really bad digestion and my belly hurts. And then I got a punnet of blueberries and I'm really gonna try and eat blueberries when I feel like eating fruit and nut mix. I'm not saying fruit and nut mix is bad at all, it's super healthy for you, but my portion sizes of fruit and nut mix is off the scale like I have no portion control I can finish a whole kilo bag of fruit and nut mix and not even feel sick like I can demolish that so whenever I'm craving fruit and nut mix maybe I'll have a little bit like I'll portion size it out get a handful and compensate with some blueberries instead of dried fruit fresh fruit is a much healthier alternative than dried fruit number one it doesn't have added sugars to it and you get the fiber and the water content from fresh fruit and it's gonna fill you up more and then I bought two punnets of strawberries I absolutely love strawberries just by themselves or added to granola and then a big crate of green apples I love green apples from the fridge like cold green apples <gasps> or like if you dip it in nuts butter see again me and nuts okay vegetable wise yesterday I bought pumpkin chilies red capsicum coriander mixed lettuce asparagus spears which is really random for me because I never have them so I always make sure I have loads and loads of vegetables on hand because I don't really eat grains so I'd rather bulk all of my food up with vegetables I've actually never bought a yellow capsicum or a yellow pepper, whatever you want to call it. Eating the rainbow is always healthy, so make sure you get a variety of colors into your diet. I also bought bok choy, which is like, is it Chinese? I think it's like a Chinese sort of um, lettuce spinach type thing because I've been craving soup lately and I haven't had anything to make soup, so I'm going to make like a soup today or tomorrow or something. So I thought I would include that in it because I love when you go to like Chinese or something and you have like a stir fry and this is wilted in it. 
delicious. Then I just got some normal silver beet spinach. I hate when I'm about to cook and then you have to like wash all your ingredients. I'm going to separate all of this, wash it, chop it up and leave it in a bag in the fridge. So if I want to add it to smoothies or if I want to add it to like a stir fry or an omelette, I can just chuck it straight in. And you're more likely to use your ingredients if they're already prepped in the fridge rather than like this and you have to prepare it all. Then I got some little alfalfa sprouts to put on top of my salads and my omelettes. I'm loving them lately. And I got some garlic cloves because I add that to a lot of things as well. And then I bought a few random condiments. I got this soup. You guys might have seen it in a vlog ages ago. It's a really, really healthy soup. It's just from Woolworths. It's called Patanga and it's the hearty chicken and vegetable soup. And it's made from all real ingredients. And when I have that, it serves two, but I will have the whole thing in one and I add extra greens and I'll add an extra source of protein, so like a tin of tuna or something into that. Sticking with the soup theme, I just got this stock. It's a vegetable stock. Be careful because lots of stocks have like multidextrin and dextrose in it. And if you are gluten intolerant, I find that dextrose really messes up my stomach. So make sure you read the ingredients of everything. So even if it says like organic ingredients, it doesn't really mean anything. Just read the ingredients and get a whole foods based stock. I also got some tomato paste because I like to add that to soups as well. And then, I don't want your judgment, but this is really random. I bought anchovies. So I bought these anchovies and I'm thinking like I love salty food and I like that this jar is just anchovies and olive oil and salt. That's it. So in my opinion, I'm thinking this is like a healthier alternative to like ham and things like that because ham has lots of chemicals in it and sulfates. And so I'm thinking of adding this to like salads or chopping it up and putting it in my omelets because it's a good source of protein and it's nice and salty. I'm not hungry or anything, but I just feel like snacking on something. So I'm just having a liter of water with some lemon squirted into it and some lemon slices because I did have a coffee this morning and that dehydrates your body. So I wanna make sure I'm nice and hydrated. It's almost one o'clock, so I'm going Going to make some lunch but I think I want to put these anchovies in my salad <sighs> smells really fishy why did I think this was a good idea I don't really know I'm the person I'll try anything like I'll try any food here we go oh <laughs> what the start was nice but that was like swallowing seawater I don't know what to do. I don't, think, I don't know if I want to put that in it. I'm just preparing all the stuff I'm going to put in my salad. So I've got a yellow capsicum, aka bell pepper, the lemons for seasoning later, some alfalfa sprouts, red chili, coriander, aka cilantro, avocado, and then yes, I've cut up one of the anchovies, which I'm going to drizzle on top like for the salt. And then I've got my mixed lettuce here, which I'll chuck in my bowl. And then I think my source of protein will be tuna. And there we have my delicious salad for lunch. I ended up topping it with a little bit of salt and pepper and some chili flakes. And with the avocado, I ended up smashing it up and massaging it into the salad, like a salad dressing. So that is going to be my super nutrient dense, micronutrient filled salad for lunch. I was just sitting at my desk editing my vlog and the delivery man came and brought me new tights So this is one of the pairs. They're from Lily Bod. For those of you who saw my last Instagram picture with their tights I'm an extra small and they feel so nice and I love this bottom detail So that is the first pair and I'll try on the second ones for you guys. I really really like these ones These are a little bit more high-waisted which I love a good high-waisted tight. And they've got this really cool racing stripe sort of design on it. I even felt like I should go work out later today because I didn't really get a good session this morning. So now even more of a reason to go. Wear my new tights, woo! Just drinking a sneaky almond milk coffee while I edit this video. And then honestly, just because I have these new tights, I just want to go to the gym. So I might go to the gym and just do some yoga or something like that. I'm going to head to the gym now. So I'm just going to bring a green apple for the road because I haven't really snacked today and I'm a little bit hungry. So this will satiate me and keep me full enough for my workout. Mm. And it's a good apple. Don't you love when it's like super crunchy? That's this bad boy, super crunchy. I came to the gym, went inside, did a few ab things, and then I went upstairs to do like handstands and yoga because that's what I felt like doing. And it was packed, like there was no room to do anything. And I was just like standing there with all my stuff looking around. So I'm going home to do yoga, AKA 
make food but yeah I'm gonna go home and make dinner and if I end up doing a yoga session that will just be a bonus but knowing me I won't. All right, back in the kitchen, time to make some dinner. And I'm going to make some soups. So I'm currently steaming some chicken. I love cooking chicken this way. I'm normally like a fish kind of girl, like for protein, I like fish and eggs. But for chicken, I like to steam it and then get a fork and you like shred it. So it's like shredded chicken. Then I'm going to make a vegetable soup. I don't have a recipe, just like all of my other meals. I just wing it and it normally works out. Starting with some red onion in the pan a clove of garlic and in my opinion onion and garlic are like super plants and it just adds so much flavor to everything especially in a soup you need really flavorful ingredients to that we're going to add some cut up pumpkin and i'm just going to cover it and put it on like a lower heat that's pretty much cooked up now so i'm going to add a whole zucchini and a red chili because i love chili this is just all natural tomato paste some vegetable stock And before that gets too hot, I'm actually going to separate maybe a half or one third of it and blend it up to make it more like a puree. And then I'll add it back into the soup. Now I'm gonna add my bok choy and my pre-prepared spinach. I'm gonna bring that to the simmer and we'll check our chicken. Chicken is ready, so let's shred it with a fork. All right, let's add the chicken in. And while we're here, let's add some spices. This is organic chili flakes, the Himalayan salt and pepper combo cracker. Oh, it's really good. Quite spicy. Now I'm gonna add a tiny bit more stock just because I wanted a little bit more watery because right now it's sort of like a stew, which is fine. I just wanted a tiny bit more watery. Probably not a good idea to make this in a fry pan, but whatever. I'm also going to add some dried basil and some dried oregano. And just for the lols, let's put in one more teaspoon of the tomato paste. Stop it. Can someone wipe me already or what? This actually tastes so good definitely give it a try it's so healthy it's full of micronutrients you've got your protein from the chicken obviously your carbs from the vegetables and if you want a healthy fat in there i would suggest putting some coconut oil in there or some flaxseed oils you can even sprinkle some nuts and seeds on top but this i'm so excited to eat it because I finished that entire batch of soup, I actually wasn't even hungry for dessert. But I had people at my house staying up late just eating and chatting and I wanted to get amongst it so I made a healthy acai bowl. So in this was just one banana, frozen blueberries, acai powder and immunity powder from Tropica. And I blended that with some ice and a dash of almond milk. And then I topped it with Loving Earth Paleo Granola, coconut and some cacao nibs. Well guys, that is going to wrap up this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. That dessert, okay, it's delicious, but it is happening too frequently. Like I honestly wasn't even hungry. I just made my friends an acai bowl because I like cooking for people and I was like, I'm gonna make one for myself as well. And I've just been having so much fruit and nut mix and so much fruit lately. It's not the best. But like always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And make sure you subscribe because I put up new videos every three days. I will see you in my next video. Bye.